Fishing technique for sturgeon is kind of strange because when they take the bait, they can play with the bait for 15, 20 minutes, even half an hour, and it can be a big fish. So you have to really concentrate on your tip of the rod, and you can see tap, tap, tap. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, it's a fish. Little taste test. And even tap, tap, tap can mean it's a monster fish, 500, 600 pounds. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, we just, is he? It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Hit him, hit him, you gotta hit him. Oh, uh oh, is he off or he's on? Reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down, lift up, lift up, lift up. Still there, still there. It's on. Okay, let's get these other rods out of the way here, you guys. Galen. Yeah. Galen keeps a close eye on Jakob's technique, knowing soon it will be her turn to take on one of these beasts. Oh, nice. I watched him and how he dealt with the strike and how the sturgeon hit the bait. It looks like a good one. Jakob must keep the line tight. Barbless hooks can easily come loose, allowing the fish to spit the bait. He's heavy fish. He's heavy fish. It's coming up, it's coming up, it's going to jump! Let me bring mine in. It's coming up, okay? I think it's a bigger fish than four feet. I don't know, it's my first wild surgeon in my life, but it's a strong fish. Oh, you're gaining on it now. You're gaining on it now. Nice work. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yes. There it is. Nice one. Wow. Beautiful. Five feet, I think. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. Nice. Look at that. Man, hey, good that's fish. A nice fish. There's your fish. I'm very fish. happy. Dean lifts the sturgeon into a special cradle designed to keep the fish safe for examination. Yay. Fish is in the boat. Nice. Simple like that, done. Okay, so that hook is right here, right on the edge of the mouth, and he's trying to clamp down on me, and I'm just gonna turn that out, nice barbless hook. See how quick, quick that's out of there? Uh, yeah. Nice and simple. Fish is in, I love my babies. That's my baby. First catch, what do you think? It's a good fish. It's a beautiful fish. This Fraser torpedo is just in front of me. It's uh, incredible because I was always dreaming about this moment and I just love it. I can see this living dinosaur of Fraser River for the first time in my life. It's incredible. Wow. <laughs> see the mouth. Now I can understand why this fish can take whole salmon inside. Yeah, they, they just... The mouth is huge. They hunt by smell and they use the whiskers, am I right? Absolutely. So those are barbels, they have four and they're just full of chemical sensors and they kind of dribble over the bottom with them and they can sense prey. They've also got a lot of sensory nerves in, in the nose for smell as well. And if you touch the body of white sturgeon, you can feel straight away the muscles all the way down. That's why is this fish so powerful and check out the tail. It's like hooking into the train. Yeah, it's very important to keep the fish wet like this. They're very tolerant of low oxygen conditions, so that helps us in the sampling. They're very calm, but we always obviously have to be as fast as possible. This is a uh, pit tag reader. Are you going to give electric shock to this fish? Or? <laughs> no, absolutely not. We're just going to turn this on and we're going to charge the pit tag that hopefully is in this fish. Look at that. Ah. It's 4230460. Every pit tag or passive integrated transponder has its own ID number, allowing researchers to track growth and migration data each time the fish is recaptured. Can we start measuring? Yeah, I hold it here. Seven. I think 157. Yeah. Yeah, 157. That's perfect. So 157 centimeters. That's five foot two. Okay, take the sample. Sure. And you want to be just below the knuckle, so we'll make our first cut right there. So it doesn't harm the fish at all? No. Nope. I'm very sorry for the fish, but I really hope that it will help for a future generation of white surgeon. Yep. Okay, so we got it. And it's just this little piece of tissue. Having completed their research goals, Jakob and the team move fast to release the fish. I hold the head. Thank you very much. Whoa! <laughs>